Dr. Chitra Palikar welcome you all to Biology. In this video, I am going to talk about biology and its basic aspects. I hope that this video helps you to understand and answer your questions regarding what is biology, the basic aspects and why study biology. Biology is one of the most important stream of science. Where does this word biology come from? Biology word is derived from two Greek words, bio which means life and logos which means study. Biology is simply defined as the study of living organisms. It is not only about animals but also plants, microorganisms etc. Biologists are the people who study biology. What does he study? A biologist studies how organisms came into existence, how they change over time, how they are born and how they grow, how and why they are different from others and how their organs function. They also study why a particular organism is present at that particular place and not somewhere else. Studying plants and animals was very important to our ancestors because they needed to understand the difference between useful and harmful organisms. This knowledge of theirs was later applied to other fields of science like agriculture and medicine. This opened a new era to the field of biology. Biology helps to unravel the complexity and diversity of life. The study of animals, plants and microorganisms help us to understand their role in our life. One such important role is to fulfill our demands as food resources. As the human population increase, the demand for food and resources also increase. Study of diseases is also a part of biology. So the use of these living organisms in the field of medicine becomes a necessity. The decline in plant and animal population can hinder the advancement in various fields of biology. So maintenance of their diversity and integrity is a great challenge to a biologist. These fields also offer job openings to the younger minds who can help for the betterment of the human race. Now we will look at few important features of all living organisms. All organisms are made up of cells, so cells are termed as basic unit of life. Some living organisms are unicellular, that is consisting of single cell, while some contain many cells called as multicellular organisms. The cells also have a potential to form new cells from the pre-existing cells. Metabolic reaction in the cells generate energy which is used by the organism to perform several functions. They also pass this energy to other organisms or back to the environment. Every cell contains the genetic information for their structure and function in their DNA. This information is passed to every generation of new cells through cell division. The genetic information passed from one cell to another or parents to offsprings is termed inheritance. So genes are termed as basic unit of inheritance in all living organisms. There is always a state of balance and a state of equilibrium in a living organism and its environment. Organisms maintain this balance by controlling their inner environment whenever the external environment changes. This phenomena is termed as homeostasis. Evolution is an answer to many questions about life. Evolution forms the basis of several branches of biology. Evolution 
explains the great diversity of life this diversity probably arose from a common origin which changed over the period of time change is a key to adaptation the constantly changing environment triggers a change in the organism so that it adapts itself to this change adaptation can be behavioral physiological or structural organisms continue to exist for generations by reproduction asexually or sexually in order to grow organisms increase in size or number this growth is a result of cell division or cell growth movement is a process which is associated with all living organisms animals move from one place to another cellular cytoplasmic movement is observed in cells while phototropism that is movement towards sunlight is observed in case of plants all organisms respond to internal or external stimuli in some or the other way all living organisms interact with each other within themselves and also the environment for their survival thus in biology we talk about cells the chemicals in the cells the body the environment ecosystems and even the changing global climate thank you